Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to uh, create thrusses uh, in solid field geometry. We're going to be using a cube for this example. Go to uh, add and add a cube. The shortcut for this is shift plus A. You can use that uh, for a quicker uh, um, practice. Uh, next thing you got to do is click tap in order to get to your end mode. You can switch between your uh, Edge modes right here, vertice edge and uh, face mode, and there's also shortcut for on your keyboard, which is uh, one, two, and three. You can use that for a quicker practice as well. Select one of your uh, faces and do a little bit of uh, insetting on it. Uh, this tool right here, inset faces. Uh, next thing you gotta do is uh, select all of your uh, edges and go to edge mode. Of course, you can use a shortcut and get rid of these uh, inside edges right here. <coughs> And once you've done that, uh, you gotta uh, use the shortcut Control plus V or this uh, bevel tool right here. So go ahead and do that. Add a bit of a bevel on this thing right here. Uh, next, you gotta do is go to your face mode, select the space right here, and do a little uh, extrusion. Use the extrude tool. You can use a shortcut, which is uh, E. Uh, select uh, this uh, face right here and before you do that uh, make sure you delete uh, this face right here use the delete key on your keyboard use these right here and uh, this right here right click and click bridge uh, faces you can do the same right here and uh, connect these two right here now the problem is these two are um, intersecting with each other and they're not connected <coughs> in order to fix that you can add a uh, edge loop right in the middle using the key uh, control plus R. Once you've done that, you're gonna do a right click so it stays right in the middle. <coughs> uh, yeah, sorry. <coughs> Next thing you gotta do is do another bevel using the key control plus B and uh, closely match it with the uh, intersection right there. Uh, now what you gotta do is you uh, do uh, hold shift and do uh, edge selection, uh, loop selection on this uh, polygon right here. <laughs> so you uh, select all these polygons. Uh, delete these polygons and uh, make sure you uh, attach uh, these edges right here uh, using the uh, capping or uh, face uh, connection tool, the shortcut for which is uh, F. You can connect them. Go to your uh, face mode, select this one right here, and uh, select this right here, right click, do a bridge face. Uh, do the same for this one. So you can see this uh, technique is pretty tedious and time consuming, uh, but the, it has its own advantages and uh, topology is very clean. Uh, the problem is you need um, two uh, edges, uh, which can also be uh, basically, you can bevel a single vertice or edge but the, that creates uh, unnecessary uh, triangles, which is not optimal for topology, but this requires uh, some beveling and uh, chamfer in order to get it, and it is very time consuming. The easy technique in order to do so is um, uh, a little more practical in my opinion. So in order to do that, select uh, an edge, do a little uh, insetting on it, just like before, but for this you don't need any chamfer. So, uh, what you do is you, uh, go to your uh, vertice mode, uh, select the opposite uh, vertices uh, diagonally, and do a right click. Or you can use the uh, I don't know uh, the actual tool for it, but you can use the shortcut for which is J. It's going to just snap them together and create this uh, cut right here. You can use the cutting tool for it as well, but uh, that is uh, a little more uh, time-consuming and not as uh, practical. You can do so with this uh, right here as well. But uh, the shortcut J is uh, a little more practical and faster. So select these two right here and click J. And it's going to connect them together. Uh, now what you got to do is you go to your uh, face mode, select all these faces right here, go to uh, inset faces, go to your configurator or the settings of your tool, and uh, click this uh, individual box right here, which uh, basically uh, insets individual faces and doesn't do so uniformly across all the um, edges. So do a little uh, insetting and then you can use the extrude tool for this to get uh, 
the same results like that one. You can also uh, get a faces and bada bing, bada boom. I guess this is it. We got the uh, proper results like this. You can connect these uh, edges right here like this. And uh, all right, and uh, you can also get these edges in the middle for optimal topology, and you can also do the same for these as well. And uh, you can do uh, some like this in order to get all quads at uh, edge loop in the middle, and you get rid of the triangle right there. But I don't think it is necessary and doesn't uh, affect the topology uh, in a bad way <coughs> because it is, uh, after all, a flat face. Uh, you can also do the same for a single truss and uh, get the uh, same results, basically. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, do, uh, you can do the same here as well. It's like these uh, uh, paste right here. Do a little bit of uh, inserting on them. Uh, do an, a bit some extrusion. Get a face. And there you go. Uh, I think that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new, enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. See ya. Take care.